Okay, welcome to another video. And this one is going to be another live repair. So any mistakes or any problems, you'll get to see them all. So what have we got here? We have here a Razer Blade gaming laptop. And this one is product number RZ09-01682E21. Model RZ RZ09-0168. Okay. Um, this one also had a liquid spill. Okay. So looks like a Dell design. Let's have a look. Never uh, worked on a razor before, but um, this is maybe second time. Let's see if we can have a look and see why it's not turning on. And for this, the data again is more valuable than the laptop itself. So let's see what we can do and what can be done. Assuming there is a screw under here, but I'm not going to pry that open yet. Actually, there is, yeah. You can feel it. Oh, no, that's fine. There's actually no screw. Great. Okay. Initial inspection. Wi-Fi switch. It's got two fans for a small size laptop. It has a massive battery. Model is Hazel. Uh, how many milliamp hour? It's made by BYD Lithium Battery. So some Chinese company. Hmm. 3950 milliamp hour. So not as big. Although it's bigger than, I mean it looks bigger. It looks big like the MacBooks but it's smaller in capacity. So it takes in a type C charge and the battery connector is here. Wow. That's a very special connection. Just like the just like the uh, mobile phone connectors. They just don't want you to repair, they make it as hard as possible. Oh, somebody came in with a Sony laptop that's um, 20, no, that used 16 watts. I haven't seen that in ages. Made in Japan too. But it's an Intel Centurino Windows XP machine. I mean, why would you want to spend money on that? Alright, so we have simply just disconnected the battery. Plug the power. See if there is any reaction. Oh, here we go. We got a green light there. Press it once. There we go. And it turns off. Turns on. Oh, here we go. We can see it better this way. Fan spins. Stays spinning. Let's let it stay. It's stuck on a loop. And what happens if we reconnect the battery connection? And there's no charging indicator. Unplug. 
try running it off the power. Oh, here we go, red light. It's complaining about battery being low. So there is some kind of activity, but not a full activity. Let's isolate the daughter board and let's remove the battery. Just so we can eliminate portions of the laptop. And power on the unit. Oh, look at that, look at that. Hey, look at that, it's booting into Windows 10. Cool, see if all the keys are working. Interesting. So, now I'm curious to know um, where the issue is. Something here is getting very hot. That's probably the SSD hiding in there. Yep, okay. Now, let's do a visual inspection of this. Nothing comes to mind. So let's plug this back in again. Just leave this connected and the other side not. And also connect the battery. I'm using a Dell 45 watt charger. Yep. See if it detects the battery and Okay, battery had a X in there. Let's uh, sleep and bring it back up. Ah, uh, here we go. Battery is now charging. Before there was a red X, but that's looking better. We let that charge. So the issue lies somewhere here. Maybe that's where the liquid spill went in. Might be better off simply buying a new daughter board maybe. Well, while we have it, you know what I'm going to do next. Is the fan still spinning? Oh, okay. So the, so the computer is not going to sleep. Probably because the LED sensor may be on this on this board here. So let's shut the computer down. Okay. Now battery is complaining. I'm gonna hook this up. See if the light will go away immediately. Nope, let's see if we can bring it back up. Wake up from sleepy sleepy. Hmm. Let's just the daughter board connected. Maybe we do need to shut down properly. Shut down. It's currently off going to unplug this and plug it back in while that is plugged in I'm gonna look under the thermal camera to see if I see anything obvious before attempting to turn it on
Okay, so nothing out of the, nothing out of the ordinary. Now, there's the HDMI port over there. So I'm just going to turn it back on now. And I'm going to connect the HDMI connection. Let's see if the daughter board is working. Yep, looks like it is. I've got the external monitor showing. Beautiful, nice wallpaper. And let's plug in a USB, see if it will make any tingling sound. This is a uh, Windows 10. I'll get a UEFI boot enabled USB. Say so Ubuntu. So going to power all the shift and then press restart. I should boot into recovery mode. Yep, and use the device. Secure boot may be enabled, so I will not be able to boot. No, that's fine. So that's the Ubuntu boot menu, and that's looking good. Can't believe it survived a, a water spill, and all the keys are working. That's a thumbs up for um, Razer. And I'll try the other USB port too. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.